I find the South fascinating uh, in terms of it's been entrepreneurial. It's, it's done a lot of great companies like Whirlpool and, 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 and Ambraya and others have all been there. But, but what I find most interesting about the, the South region is the hardworking people, they, they push forward towards business, the business innovators, and um, they, they somehow manage the cash cycles, even though the economy goes up and down, the South part seems to be able to survive through the cash pressures of the economy. So I think there's a resilient entrepreneur here. Um, it's, it's an entrepreneur who's resourceful in terms of finding ways to do things, and it's an entrepreneur who certainly is connected to the global world and bring the best from the global world to the local world. One of the points I made today was digital transformation, saying we should use that for innovation management. And that basically means that we should be reaching out to companies around the world. We should be sourcing the best ideas and also leveraging their assets to get going over here. So we don't have to spend our money to be able to do those kind of things. We should use our partner's assets and partner's resources to get things done. So that's the first thing is a way to get out of this situation. The second one is while everybody is leaning back because of the economy, if you are the first one to lean forward, then you'll separate the distance between first and second by a lot. So don't, don't lean back. This is the best time for you to lean forward. I think Brazil and all countries can benefit by the fact that these are new ideas and therefore you can leapfrog. So in many other parts of the world, when we went from 1G to 2G to 3G in telecom, because of the existing infrastructure of 3G, the US couldn't move to 4G quickly enough. In countries like Brazil, you can leapfrog from one innovation 1.0 to 4.0 and immediately start embracing the digital tools, the simulation, gamification, visualization, virtualization right now, because you don't have as much existing legacy to hold you back.